So this wound has now been closed with one, two deep sutures. I could put a third one in here. Um, but you already get the idea that the wound is virtually closed. I could then, if I wish to, just put in some interrupted sutures. For instance, this is a 5-O-ethylon, which I could use as a much lighter suture, um, smaller caliber suture than on the previous um, excision. And it would be closed like that. Alternatively, what I might wish to do is to close this with a continuous subcuticular um, closure. Here I could start just away from one apex, get the wound so that the suture comes out just below the epidermis and here I will be closing the wound holding the suture holders like this a completely different way to the standard way of holding it either like that or like that. Because here I'm trying to close by running the suture along parallel to the skin. So here we go, out in the just below the epidermis and then when it comes to the next inserting the suture on the other side um, You'll see that where this comes out, I want to insert just behind there. So in fact, I would be inserting that at this level, coming out here. And then reinserting just behind, so at that area. What you want to avoid is putting your suture, inserting it ahead, so here, because then you will tend to gather the wound together and get a poor cosmetic result. So here we go again, slightly too deep on that side, so just so you want to um, ensure that you mirror the depth of the run of the suture from side to side. And you can see how that's coming together very nicely. The potential disadvantage of this wound is that as the suture is no longer interrupted, the wound is effectively sealed and if there is any bleeding, it won't be able to escape out between the interrupted sutures. But you can see the way in which this brings the wound together without tension because you've already put your um, deep or buried sutures into the deep layers to take the tension away from the skin and this is just allowing the wound to heal with the best possible cosmetic results. This however is a non-absorbable suture and therefore the suture will need to be taken out um, at an appropriate interval, probably 10 to 14 days after insertion. The suture then can be taken out through the skin and these ends tied together um, without tension. And you'll see that the wound itself has been brought together beautifully. So this is a traditional way of closing with non-absorbable uh, material in a continuous subcuticular suture. Um, an alternative to using a non-absorbable suture for your continuous subcuticular, and this is an area that I often, uh, technique I often use on the back, is to close your wound completely with deep absorbable sutures. So in this case it would be the monocryl that I was demonstrating earlier which I've dyed along the first section purely to make it easier to see what we're doing. And remember this is deep to superficial, superficial to deep. And then this suture 
I'm going to this is my final one. Normally I'd have put in a couple of uh, more uh, deep sutures probably here and here in order to um, support the wound. And now I'm only going to uh, cut one of my ends. So this is coming from a buried, this section is coming from a buried knot and I'm now going to take the suture from the buried location up to the superficial um, area where I would start a continuous subcuticular suture. So here it is and we'll take this one out and now I can start to run my continuous subcuticular suture like I did with the absorbable uh, non-absorbable um, ethylon I can now do this with my monocryl. The difference being that I will not need to remove this and the strength will remain until the suture has um, been absorbed. So again running at the stitch along parallel to the surface of the skin and each time slightly going back on myself so that the edges are brought together beautifully. Rotate the, wound, the suture out of the wound each time to avoid any undue bending of the actual needle and the bite just large enough so that you can easily withdraw the needle after each insertion. All the time I'm doing this I'm taking care not to distort the skin as I'm inserting it so I'm not pulling it back like this. Doing that often means that you end up with the suture actually coming out through the needle coming out through the skin. Here we are, bringing it together very nicely with no skin tension um, for these sutures because all the tension has been taken up by our deep sutures, enabling this just to bring the edges together nicely. And then for our final um, closure, here we go, bring this round to the apex and then my final stitch is merely to take the end through the apex here and bring it out somewhere within the anaesthetized skin like this and that I can then cut and you have an entirely buried suture. Onto this I would be putting um, adhesive strips such as uh, sterry strips to help support the wound.